Welcome. In this video, I am going to detect atrask elasticity uh, using wire test and uh, Bruce Pigan test using Stata. In order to do that, let me open my Stata and uh, in Stata, uh, I would like to download a file uh, from a website known as uh, BC Use. Uh, this is the website of uh, Boston College and the name of the file is wage 1. So here the file has been downloaded and uh, here is the data and this is the description of the various variables. Uh, you see there is wage, there is education, there is experience, there is tenure on wage, these are some dummy variables and here there is a natural log of wage, there is experience square and there is a tenure square. So I would like to start with simple Minzer earning equation or earning function in which we regress uh, natural log of wage on, uh, on education and uh, experience. And uh, if you do that, here is uh, my output. Before I use Y test, I would like to uh, start the Bruch Pagan test, and uh, for the Bruch Pagan test, uh, I'll uh, regress the square of the residual on both the variables that is, education and uh, experience. So, first, I would like to predict E, which is a residual, and that is equal to uh, RESID. So, I just uh, created this new variable E which are residuals and uh, you can see it here. This is residual. Now, I will create uh, generate E2 and that is equal to E square. Now, I have uh, generated E square. Uh, now, I will uh, regress E2 on uh, education and uh, experience. And uh, in this case, I regressed the uh, square residuals on uh, experience and uh, tenure. Now, if I look at this uh, F state value, this is highly significant, and there is strong evidence that there is heteroskedasticity. Uh, the null hypothesis for this test is that there is uh, no joint significance of the uh, explanatory variables in explaining the residual square but uh, this is uh, this null hypothesis is uh, strongly rejected based on this uh, p value okay uh, there is another way of uh, using brush pagan test for that i will uh, use the original equation that is regress natural log of age and education and experience and i will give the command hat test comma right hand side f state and uh, this is the f state value and uh, this is uh, its uh, uh, significance value. So, uh, on the basis of this brush pagan test, uh, the null hypothesis of uh, constant variance is uh, rejected. So, there is an evidence of uh, uh, task elasticity in the data. Now, I will use uh, uh, the Y test and for the Y test, uh, I will need to regress the residual of square on um, Y hat and uh, Y hat square. Remember, uh, there are two versions of uh, Y test. One is simpler one in which we regress the square of residual on uh, Y hat and uh, Y hat square. And then there is the original version of the um, Y test. I will be using that later on. So, first I need uh, to predict Y hat. So, predict Y hat, uh, comma, XP. It has been generated. Now, I will generate uh, Y hat square, which is equal y hat so i 
generate it y hat square. So, uh, I will use uh, uh, to regress um, the square of residual on y hat and uh, y hat square. So, let me copy it from here just to save my time and uh, here we can see. Uh, now, here we have regressed e square that is the square of the residual on y hat and y hat square and we are going to see whether e2 is explained or jointly determined by these two variables. So, if you look at this f test that is for giant test, so its p value is uh, well below 1 percent. So, we strongly uh, reject that there is no giant determination of the um, e square. So, there is strong evidence of uh, of the existence of heteroscedasticity uh, using this uh, simple version of the y test. Now, I will also use the original version of uh, the y test for uh, detecting heteroscedasticity and in the original version uh, in the regression of uh, e, uh, e square we use the original two variable that is education and experience and then square of education and square of experience and then the uh, cross multiplication of uh, the education and uh, experience that is the pairwise um, cross effect. So, for that I need education square and uh, experience square and the cross product. So, I will generate uh, gen edu square and that is equal to so I generated this then I will uh, generate experience square which is equal x p 2 and finally, I will generate a d e x p that is the uh, cross product of education and experience which is equal uh, e d u c times e x p r. So, I created that now I will regress. Uh, education or you can say log of education L wage uh, education uh, sorry log of wage and uh, education experience education square experience square and ed exp. So, this is the full version or alternative version or the original version of the y test in which we regress natural log of wage on education, experience and then square of education, square of experience and the cross product of education and uh, experience. And if I hit enter, uh, I would look at uh, this f test and uh, the probability of uh, the, pro the p value of this f test is uh, highly significant uh, which giving an a strong evidence of the existence of heteroscedasticity in this uh, data. So, uh, if we examine all of the equations the original one and then we use the brush pagan test and then we also use the the test the uh, regression of e square on experience and education that showed uh, heteroscedasticity and then we used the uh, HET test that is the brush pagan test uh, with right hand side f state command and that also gave us the indication of uh, heteroscedasticity you look at this value we reject the null and then we use the uh, uh, simple version of uh, the y test in which we regress e square on y hat and uh, y hat square and uh, the p value of the f state also show that there is strong evidence of heteroscedasticity. And finally, uh, we use the original version of the y test and uh, this also gave us the evidence of uh, um, heteroscedasticity. So, all of these uh, equations uh, showed the presence of heteroscedasticity, but the p values of all these uh, regressions uh, were different. However, the overall uh, test that we used in this video uh, gave us the evidence of uh, heteroscedasticity in this data. 
since there is heteroskedas density in this data so we will use uh, robust standard errors instead of the OLS generated uh, standard errors uh, because there is heteroskedasticity in this data and for that uh, we will use uh, this uh, simple equation of regression regressing uh, natural log of age is on education and experience and then we will write robust and uh, it will give us robust standard errors now these standard errors are quite different from these standard errors so this is one way of correcting for uh, heteroskedasticity in OLS model using uh, uh, you know this uh, procedure of robust uh, standard errors uh, ladies and gentlemen, I hope this was uh, helpful for you. If you have any problem with this, you can uh, send me a question below this video and I will try my level best to come up with some answer. I thank you very much for uh, watching uh, uh, this uh, video. Uh, this is the some detail of the file. Uh, this is the description of this uh, file that I just used. Uh, if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, kindly do subscribe and do not forget to click on bell icon. Uh, 